Reinhardt, also known as Reinhard Wilhelm, 61 years old, German, and an adventurer. He's a tank with 300 health, 200 armor, has a hammer called the Rocket Hammer, a shield called the Barrier Field, and the ability to charge. He's also able to toss actual flaming projectiles, which both penetrates enemies and damages any enemies that come into contact with it, especially his ultimate ability, Earth Shatter. Basically, shattering the Earth, knocking down and damaging all enemies in front of him. Reinhardt's pretty cool, he's fucking gigantic, he can be a robot, a human, a robot from hell, he can be a lot of things. The main thing he is, is a giant shielding tank that helps your team push. Aside from all that, today I want to focus on his shield. His shield has 2000 health, with a cooldown of 3 seconds when broken, and a recharge of 225 health per second. We know that Reinhardt can block regular projectiles, weapons, bullets, etc. But when it comes to abilities and ultimates, the results may surprise you. Let's find out what abilities and ultimates Reinhardt can and cannot block. First off, we have Genji's ultimate, the Dragon Blade. Genji's ultimate Dragon Blade is a high damage melee weapon, which is a simple no for Reinhardt as he cannot block any melee attacks with his shield. It is also worth noting that Genji's Swift Strike is unblockable. Genji can bypass the barrier field, allowing him to have the ability to flank Reinhardt and his entire team. Moving on, we have McCree's ultimate, Deadeye. The Deadeye can be blocked and also can block any of Reinhardt's teammates that is behind him. However, he will still be marked and if the shield does end up breaking, McCree will still be able to lock on and use his ultimate. McCree's ability Flashbang can actually be thrown just above Reinhardt's shield just to stun and finish him off. Now we have Farah's ult, which is Barrage. She fires multiple rockets at where she is aiming. Farah's rockets are able to break through Reinhardt's shield, however only if she shoots at Reinhardt for around a solid 2 seconds. However, if she doesn't, Reinhardt is able to block her ultimate. Farah's secondary ability, Concussive Blast, can both be blocked and deny all knockback effects. Reinhardt's ability to block this is very useful when keeping his ground. Next up is Reaper's ultimate, Death Blossom. A 360 degree close range ultimate that shoots in a nearby radius around him. Reinhardt can easily block a huge amount of the ultimate as long as he is facing Reaper and is in front of him. Next up on the list is Soldier 76's ultimate, Tactical Visor. Since Tactical Visor is just an aimbot power up, it is still just Soldier 76 shooting projectiles and nothing else. Reinhardt is also able to completely block Helix rockets and Biotic Field. Biotic Field works by having a straight line of contact with Soldier 76 or any of his teammates. If anything comes in the way between the two, the link will be severed, leaving Soldier 76 or his teammates unhealed. We now have Tracer's ultimate, which is Pulse Bomb. Reinhardt's shield can actually block both the projectile and the damage. As long as Tracer doesn't blink past Reinhardt's shield, her ultimate will be useless, and if anything, Reinhardt can actually survive the full damage bomb. Moving on, we have Bastion's ultimate, Configuration Tank. Since his ultimate is a projectile upgrade, Reinhardt can block it with ease, able to block a maximum of 10 shots. Next up we have Hanzo's ultimate, Dragon Strike. Hanzo's Dragon Strike cannot be blocked, the dragon will go through the shield and damage anyone behind it. Next up we have Junkrat's ultimate, Riptire. Riptire can go straight through the shield and back and detonate behind Reinhardt's shield. However, if blocked, Reinhardt can shield him and anyone behind the shield if the bomb is in front of the shield. Fun fact, Reinhardt's shield will block all incoming abilities from Junkrats, such as Steel Trap, Concussion Mine, and all Frag Grenades. However, if already placed down, he cannot block them unless not directly on top. Next up is Mei's ultimate, Blizzard. Mei's AoE ultimate freezes everyone in a huge radius. Reinhardt is unable to block the ultimate, however, is able to charge out of it easily and actually pin Mei if you react fast enough. Reinhardt, however, is also able to block Mei's Endothermic Blaster. Next up on the list is Tobyard's ultimate, Molten Core. Since Molten Core is a stat boost and a free sentry upgrade, the answer is a straight yes. Reinhardt is able to block all of it. Now we have D.Va's ultimate, Self-Destruct. 
Reinhardt is able to completely block the damage from D.Va self-destruct. However, D.Va's mech is still able to knock Reinhardt back. Next up on the list is Reinhardt himself. Reinhardt's ultimate is Earthshatter. Surprisingly, Reinhardt is actually able to block the ultimate completely. Not only for himself, but everyone behind the shield as well. This is such a crazy mechanic as it can lead to some crazy denials. Barrier Field, however, is unable to block all of enemies Reinhardt's melee attacks, charge, and fire strikes. Next up, we have Roadhog's ultimate, Whole Hog. Reinhardt is able to block all of the incoming damage and is not knocked back. However, Whole Hog is able to break the shield and completely obliterate Reinhardt. It is also worth noting that Roadhog's chain hook can also be blocked by Reinhardt's barrier field. Next up is Winston's ultimate, Primal Rage. Since Primal Rage is a melee enhancer, it's completely unblockable by any means. Reinhardt is essentially useless when faced with Winston's ultimate. Barrier Field is also unable to block Winston's primary, the Tesla Cannon. Moving on, we have Zarya's ultimate, Graviton Surge. Graviton Surge is unblockable by any means, however, Reinhardt is still able to keep his shield up and charge out to escape. It is also important to note that when Zarya has her particle barrier up, Reinhardt's ult Earth Shadow will not knock Zarya down, and she will absorb all damage as well. Same goes if the shield is on an ally. Next up is Lucio's ultimate, Sound Barrier, which obviously can't be blocked or stopped. Lucio's secondary fire, Sound Wave, is also blockable by Barrier Field, which makes Reinhardt a pretty good counter to his weapons. Moving on is Symmetra's abilities. First off, Symmetra's primary weapon, her Photon Projector Beam, is not able to be blocked by Barrier Field, neither is her secondary fire Photon Orbs. Both are able to completely pass Reinhardt's barrier field and damage anyone behind it. Now for our last hero of today's video is Zenyatta. Zenyatta's ultimate transcendence is essentially a glorified version of Reinhardt's shield. The ability is completely unblockable or deniable by any means. One thing to note is that Zenyatta is unable to launch discord orbs through shields, completely disabling his damage over time abilities. However, Zenyatta is also able to completely deny or shatter with his ultimate transcendence. So thank you everybody so much for watching this video. I hope this educated you a bit on some Reinhardt 101 skills. Because Reinhardt is actually pretty capable of a lot of things and both uncapable of defending quite a few things. Reinhardt is a great hero and I want people to know more of what he's capable of. Because a lot of people actually get misconceptions about what he's both able and unable to do. So I was really eager to make this video as I think this would help people sort of figure out things that they haven't before. So again, thank you buddy so much for watching and by the way, if you realize that the audio sounded a bit less echoey but a bit weirder, more more bassy, uh, it's because I'm trying out this new sound booth thing where this acoustic sound foam um, surrounding the microphone and it was a bit weird toying with it at first but I want to make it work because I think it sounds better without the echo but at the same time it sounds too bassy and then at the same time it loses quality, I have no idea why but I want to fix it. So I hope that's not a bad thing because I really want to improve my video quality for all viewers, both subscribers and non-subscribers. And yeah, sorry for talking so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more Overwatch or Team Fortress 2 content or just gaming in general. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.